we have an example of this. Uh, in class the other night, we watched the Ronald Reagan Challenger speech. I just went over that quickly and said, well, what are these five pieces within that story? And this is uh, what I came up with. As we talked about in class, people look at the same piece of rhetoric and often come up with different analyses, one of the things that makes it interesting. Uh, as I looked at it, the act, what act was he talking about? The act that I saw being talked about primarily was self-sacrifice. He talked about this daring self-sacrifice that, that these, uh, these brave Americans went on, the spirit of exploration. Uh, what was the scene? And, and I made the mistake when I started this, I said the scene was national tragedy. Well, I, I was wrong. That, that, that's the scene in which Ronald Reagan is speaking. Now, that's not Burke's question. What's the scene in the story? And the scene that I see, as Ronald Reagan talked about it, was America's proud history of exploration. Or even the world's proud history of exploration. That's the scene in which he tells his story. He talks about this great uh, history of exploration and this exploring spirit. And in that, he talks about this act of brave self-sacrifice. And who is the agent? Well, the agent is obviously the astronauts, uh, the brave explorers. Those were obviously the people that were performing the act of the self-sacrifice. The scene was this, in the midst of all this great history of exploration. What was the agency? What was the tool? What was the agency by which they did their act? I decided it was courage. Courage was the agency. These astronauts, the agents, amidst this scene of this proud history of exploration in the United States and in the world, did a act of brave self-sacrifice through courage. Courage was the agency with which they operated. And last was the purpose. Why did they do this? And according to Reagan's words, it was a service to mankind, humankind. Uh, and all that's debatable as to whether it was or not, but we're not interested in whether or not that it is a service to humankind. We're interested in finding out about the speaker. Ronald Reagan is who we're interested in. How does Ronald Reagan see the world? Burke believes that through these five things we can get a picture into what that is. So we're interested in what does Ronald Reagan think the purpose of their action was. He believes it to be a service to mankind. He believes courage was their agency. The story was about the astronauts. He believes there's this proud history of exploration throughout the world and in the United States uh, in which they acted. And he believes that with bravery and self-sacrifice, they, they threw themselves into this thing with great commitment. Now, to do a full analysis uh, by Burke using this pentad, which is sometimes called the pentadic analysis, you there's a lot more steps to it. And if you want to know more about it, ask me. I, I've got some things I can give you to tell you the whole process for doing this kind of analysis. But basically, by seeing which of those things he talks about the most, which of those things he believes the speaker, Ronald Reagan in this case, believes has the most impact on the entire situation, that begins to reveal the philosophy by which uh, Ronald Reagan would see the world. And then we can derive some other information from that. Uh, that is Kenneth Burke's pentad. Uh, that is the operation of dramatism, a way of looking at rhetoric with the principal purpose of discerning the motives of, of the speaker. Again, that was Kenneth Burke's whole thing. Because language is a piece of who we are, I can look at someone's language, according to Burke, and through his process of a pentatic analysis, using dramatism, I can determine uh, what it is that motivates that person. Uh, it's a fascinating thing. Uh, Kenneth Burke is obviously brilliant, uh, and it's important that ultimately, uh, when you graduate and people start calling you Mr. Miscommunication because you have a degree in it, that you at least know something about Kenneth Burke, because uh, his name will come up, and you should at least be able to smile and say, yeah, Kenneth Burke, he was great. Um, so that's your piece on Kenneth Burke. Uh, if that shows up in your analyses, that'd be great, uh, but certainly that's not required. The, the assignments are as they are, you're to use the stuff in the textbook. If you happen to see one of these five pieces popping up and you want to talk about it, it'd be a great opportunity.